Na kwingineko ni kuwa naibu gavana wa kaunti ya Kisi, Dr. Robert Monda, amekana madai yote maine ya mkabili. Akiwa mbele ya bunge la seneti leo hii, wakati wa kusikilizwa kwa hoja kumbandua mamlakani, Monda amesistiza kuwa madai hayo si kweli. Bunge la seneti litasikiliza hoja, hoja hiyo kwa siku mbili na kutoa wamuzi, na kutoa wamuzi wake, Keta Diego na maelezo zaidi. Honorable Senators, welcome back to this session. Bunge la Seneti limeanza kusikiliza hoja ya kutimuliwa kwake mamlakani naibu gavana wa kaunti ya Kisi Robert Monda. Monda anakabiliwa na madai kadhaa ikiwemo ufisadi, matumizi mabaya ya mamlaka na ofisi, utovu wa nidhamu miongoni mwa maswala mengine. Communication from the chair. Monda anadaiwa kupokea shilingi laki nane kutoka kwake Dennis Mokaya kwa ahadi ya kumpa nafasi ya meneja wa biashara katika kampuni ya Gusi Water and Sanitation Company Limited Guasco. Nadaiwa kuwa baada ya kupokea fedha hizo Monda alijaribu kumhonga mkurugenzi mtendaji wa kampuni hiyo Lucy Washira kwa shilingi laki moja juhudi ambazo ziligonga mwamba Dennis Mosati is given the responsibility by his father to raise the 800,000 shillings a young man a poor man a jobless man a family man a man who is destitute and desperate for a job does all that is within his means sells his salon so as to raise the 800,000 shillings katika taarifa yake ya ufunguzi wakili wa bunge la kaunti ya Kisi Ndegwanjiru alielezea sababu za kutumuliwa kwa Monda akiangazia madai ya matumizi mabaya ya mamlaka na kudai kuwa Monda hafai kuendelea kuhudumu kwa nafasi hiyo kutokana na tuhuma nyingi zinazomkabili is this a man who can be trusted is this a man who can be held to a, a, account is this a man who is transparent is this a man who can inspire the youths is this a man who can be trusted with the county resources evidence will bear us witness when we begin to tender the same that dennis is not the only victim the public participation processes that were conducted on the 26th of february we have people claiming that yes the deputy governor is a man who is full of wakimtetea Monda mawakili wake walipinga madai kuwa alipokea rushwa yoyote huku wakieleza kuwa pesa zinazozungumziwa ni ulipaji wa mkopo ambao hapo awali alikuwa amempa bwana Mokaya We will invite your attention to two details on this issue The first detail is that by 28th of May interviews and scoring of the candidates had been done about 13 days earlier that is on the 15th of May so that by 28th really the person who had successfully contested for that office had been determined by reason of the scores done by the various members of the board it had nothing it could not possibly be a basis to have influenced who would be assigned this job uh, the second issue that we will be uh, addressing on that issue is in the statement that was presented by Akihojiwa Dennis Mokaya alisema kuwa pesa zilizotumwa kwa naibu gavana zilikusudiwa kumpatia kazi akisisitiza kwamba hazikukusudiwa kulipa mkopo wowote ule kesi hiyo imepangwa kusikilizwa tena kesho huku ikitarajiwa kuwa wazazi wa Mokaya watajitokeza na kutoa shuhuda wao kuhusu swala hilo also appearing alongside Nikiripoti ya Dira ya Hope TV langu jina Nikit Andiego